Okay, so there's no word in Hebrew to describe things. I'm very tempted. It's all it's used as a word of so diver is to speak, davar is things. There's no word to describe things because everything is based upon really words. That's so I'm just so let me give me your and does that go back to Genesis? Go, one? I'm going to throw for something. So this word here, dalit bet resh, what you talked about poor language but rich in meaning, is that this word, depending how you use the vowels, because Hebrew doesn't have vowels, can be read as diber to speak, or davar, describing something. This is my davar. It's a rock. So we in in Hebrew we don't deal with things as a separate word. It's all based upon words. It's very important because in the fifth book of Moses, you usually translate it as Deuteronomy. In Judaism, we don't say Deuteronomy, we say Devarim. <laughs> Devarim is the fifth book, and, it's based on, and it means words. These are the words. The beginning, the first verse of the beginning of Deuteronomy says these are the words. Because our national constitution is the fifth book of Moses. It's the thing that these words bind us. Mm -hmm. We're the only nation in the entire world that didn't develop organically or use power in a sense of dominating others. Because if power is lost, you lose your identity. If it's organically made into a politic, then once those relationships are gone, you lose the politic. The only way we were able to survive all these years was based upon these three letters. Wow. These words, the words of the covenant. So, if you remember at the, towards the end of Deuteronomy, God says to them, take these words with you as you enter into the land. Mm -hmm. Hosea in chapter 14, when he, when he speaks to Israel, he says, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take the words, divarim, with you and return to the Lord. Very simply, everything is based upon constitutional covenant. Mm. So when you're walking these steps of the desert, where there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no divar, there's only divarim, there's only words. What words are we always talking about? God's word. That has been the secret for the Jewish people to outlast 2,000 years of exile. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today with you without these words. Do you guys understand? The phenomenon of the Jewish people. It is beyond a miracle. We are taught, no people group exists. But what is bound them together as it and shape their identity of who are we? What are we doing here? The words. Mm. The word of God. And I love how this day says, Shuvah. First he says, Shuvah. Yeah, Repent. Repent and turn back to these words. Yeah.